Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you four easy ways to mirror your models in Blender. These methods will help you work faster and create clean, symmetrical models. The first method is the mirror modifier. The mirror modifier creates a symmetrical copy of your object along a chosen axis. This allows you to model only one half, and Blender automatically mirrors the other half. It's a great way to save time and keep your design symmetrical, especially when modeling characters or vehicles. Now, let's see how to apply a mirror modifier to an object. Let's add a cube and apply a mirror modifier. At first, nothing seems to happen because the cube's origin is at its center. The mirrored copy appears right on top of the original, so we don't see any change. To fix this, we need to adjust the origin point. First, move the cube slightly to the right along the x-axis. Still, you won't see any difference because in object mode, the origin moves together with the object. Now, right-click on the cube and choose Set Origin and Origin to 3D Cursor. And there it is. You can now see the mirrored cube on the other side of the x-axis. The easiest way to change the origin point for mirroring is to move the object in edit mode. Let's delete the cubes in the scene, add a new cube, and apply a mirror modifier. Press tab to go into edit mode and move the cube along the x-axis. Now you can see the cube is mirrored interactively while the origin stays in place. You can think of the origin, or the 3D cursor, as a mirror plane, like an invisible mirror in the scene. Since we're mirroring on the x-axis, this plane is perpendicular to x. Next, let's switch the mirror axis to y. At first, you won't see a change because the mirror plane splits the cube exactly in half along y. But if we move the cube along the y-axis, you'll see it mirrored there too. The same works for z, and you can also mirror on two or three axes at the same time. Just enable both Y and Z, or all three axes if you want full symmetry. Finally, let's turn on only X mirroring. Now, any edits we make to the original mesh will also appear on the mirrored side. This is a big time saver when modeling things like vehicles or characters that need perfect symmetry. If you look closely, when we move the original and mirrored parts along the X axis, they pass through each other. To prevent this, simply enable the clipping option in the mirror modifier. In Blender, clipping stops vertices from crossing over the mirror plane. This keeps the mirrored parts perfectly joined at the center with no gaps. Sometimes you'll want clipping on, and other times you'll want it off. Let's look at an example. Here we have a simple car body. We want to keep modeling with x-axis mirroring. Select the car body and enter edit mode. Switch to front view, press Z, and choose wireframe. Select and delete the vertices on the left side, now we have half the model. Since the origin is at the 3D cursor, we can add a mirror modifier to mirror the other half along X. Now, let's say you want to model the headlights. If you duplicate a face with Shift D and clipping is enabled, the vertices of both headlights will stick together at the mirror plane. That makes it hard to model them separately. If you turn clipping off, you can freely move and shape the headlights on both sides. But for something like the radiator, you want clipping on so the parts merge cleanly at the center. You can also adjust the merge distance. For example, if you set it to 0.2 meters, vertices will merge when they come within 0.2 meters of the mirror plane. Sometimes, Changing an object's origin point isn't the best or most practical way to mirror. Instead, you can mirror based on another object's origin without moving your model's origin. For example, let's say you want to mirror a left eye to the right side. Select the eye and add a mirror modifier along the x-axis. If you set the eye's origin to the 3D cursor for mirroring, it can cause issues later when transforming the eye. So, let's move the origin back to the center of the eye geometry. Now, for mirroring, you can choose another object like the head as the mirror object in the modifier. 
Blender will use the head's origin as the mirror plane. This way, the eye stays mirrored correctly and we keep its origin at the center, so transformations work as expected. The easiest way to mirror an object and add a mirror modifier in Blender is by using the Auto Mirror add-on. To enable it, go to Edit menu, Preferences, click on the Get Extensions tab, search for Auto Mirror, and install it. Now, select the object you want to mirror. Press N to open the right-hand panel. Under the Edit tab, you'll see the Auto Mirror section. Choose the axis you want to mirror on, for example X, and click the Auto Mirror button. When you switch to Edit Mode and look at the Modifier tab, you'll see that Blender automatically added a mirror modifier. Auto Mirror also cuts the object cleanly along the mirror plane, so you can keep working symmetrically right away. Without Auto Mirror, you would have to manually delete vertices along the center and set up the mirror modifier yourself. Another way to mirror is by using the symmetry tools in edit mode. In the top right corner of the viewport, you'll find the symmetry options. Let's enable symmetry on the x-axis. Now, any edits you make in edit mode will be mirrored across x automatically. Let's turn off x symmetry for now. There's also the symmetrize tool. First, make a change to one side of the mesh. Then press A to select all vertices, go to the Mesh menu and Symmetrize option. If nothing happens or if your changes seem to disappear, it's likely because of the symmetry direction. Open the bottom left panel and change the direction to positive X to negative X or the correct direction for your model. And there it is, the change is mirrored. Finally, let's look at a quick mirror method in object mode. Select the monkey's left eye. Right-click and set the origin to a point on the mirror plane, for example, the 3D cursor. Then right-click again and mirror it across the X global axis. If you want to keep the original eye in place, duplicate it first, then mirror the copy. And that's it! Since this mirroring flips the object's X scale, press Ctrl A and apply the scale. This is important to avoid issues when adding modifiers later. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more Blender tutorials. See you in the next tutorial.